Vidya is a big star, but Vidya's had to deal with with body shaming issues. Uh, her and and I'm not saying Shafali, you're not a star, but I'm saying in the conventional sense, the kind of stardom that you're talking about. And you know, Vidya, you've you have forbidden, you have forbidden the retouching of your pictures, uh, in an Instagram age where everybody uses a filter to basically look nothing like we actually look like. Uh, where did that courage come from? Because you've gone through your phase of self-loathing, of hating your body, of producers making you feel, you know, that you shouldn't like yourself. And you've had the courage to say, don't retouch me. Don't Photoshop. You know, Barkha, I have to say that for the longest time in my career, every time I got signed on for a film, at some point, the director or the producer would come and tell me, you know, it would be great if you can lose a little weight for the film. And finally, I think it was around Hamari Adhuri Kahani. I've also gone through uh, health-wise, you know, lots of hormonal issues and things like that. But I don't want to give an excuse for the body I am in. Um, but I, start, I started saying, you know what, take it or leave it. I, I have a, it's a, it's a huge challenge for me to lose weight and I won't be able to do it. So if you want someone of a different body frame, please go ahead and cast someone else. It's not me you're looking for them. Um, and now for the past, since Shakuntala, people have stopped saying that. So Shakuntala, Sherni, Jalsa, that's not happened. And I'm so happy, you know, because I started actually standing up for my body. Similarly, when, um, and this came with a realization, which, uh, with a realization that the body is actually keeping me alive. And I've spent most of my life hating my body. It's ridiculous. You know, someday it's going to shut down and then there's no point of anything. Right. But yeah, but, um, also about the retouching of pictures, I just feel it's the fear of being found out. You know, you're seeing me in person and I'm one body. And then in my pictures, I'm something else. I, I feel like a cheat. And I, I'm, I was like, you know, people are going to anyway say, Are you to touch up karate? Hai. And why? You know, for what to what end? I, I feel the way I am. Yeah. I feel beautiful the way I am. I don't want to be someone else or something else. And hats off to you for that. But let me tell you how deep this runs. We had Alia Bhatt speaking uh, at my We The Women uh, forum just a week ago. And she spoke about how she, in therapy, discovered that she, at 29, has body image issues. She doesn't like her body. So, you know, you're, you're talking about somebody, maybe a generation younger, who's also grappling with this. I mean, Vidya, when is this going to end? When are we going to stop hating ourselves? I don't know. I think because we're, um, I think primarily because we've been seen as objects of desire and we've seen desirability, we've equated that with a certain kind of body, which is so deeply ingrained. But actually, if you see the sculptures and you see even the Romanesque paintings, they're all wholesome women. But that is, I'm talking about physical desirability, right? Today, that desirability just does not come from physicality. We've realized that there's so much more to us that needs to be embraced and celebrated and just we need to own that. And that's giving us, we are feeling more desirable. Forget what anyone else to say. We are not looking for that validation from others. But I'm still talking about a very small um, percentage of women who have that realization and maybe largely women who are in their 40s. Like I, I love saying that I'm 43 and I would Someone was asking us the other day, you know, is 40s the new 20s? And I was like, no, yeah. please. I'm 43 and I'm very happy being in my 40s because I think there, there also comes a stage, I think in your 40s when you say that, you know, this is how I am. Take it or leave it. 